Hey guys, so today is the day. We're gonna go ahead and do a Lofofora tissue culture example. Um, I'm gonna have everything already made, so I'll make videos on how to make all of the solutions and everything, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, the media, I'm gonna have a complete video for. It's a little bit more intensive where it deserves a video. So the media that you see that I'm gonna be using, I'll show you guys how to make in another video after this. Um, but this is everything that you're gonna need, um, except for some media, but we're gonna shift over to a flow hood or a sterile area to do the actual tissue culture once we finish doing the surface sterilization. So I'll shift you guys over there after to show you the hood. So the first thing that we need to do is um, Roots are really dirty in almost all plants, so instead of trying to do tissue culture on the roots, which most likely will get contaminated, um, what we're going to do instead is replant the roots so that they can propagate, and then we're going to go ahead and take all of the, the top actual green part of the cactus um, and cut that up as explant. Everywhere that you see a white spot is a meristematic cell spot. Um, the tufts of the Lephora, so um, that's what we're gonna cut up into smaller pieces. So let's just go ahead and start. So like I said, we're gonna try to keep the roots. So I'm gonna cut right above and leaving a little bit behind. So you can see. And they're gonna go through surface sterilization, so I'm not too nervous about cleaning the blade in between. Perfect. So like I said, all of the roots, I'm gonna let that callus over on the top, replant those and hope for some great propagation. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is put all of these pieces through a, an alcohol. So this is a 70% isopropyl alcohol wash for two minutes, just to get off any debris or anything uh, bacterial on the outside really that we can get. Then it's going to go into this 20% bleach solution for about 25 minutes. I know that seems intense, and anybody who's worked with other plants knows that it's very high, but the Lophophora has a very strong outer cell coating, so it can handle it and it'll be completely fine. So we're going to go ahead and do these steps. Once it's in the bleach, um, I'm going to have to do the rinsing in front of the hood so that the, the tissue stays sterile. So we're going to go ahead and do this part. I'm gonna put it on the shaker and the bleach, and then when it's finished, we're gonna go ahead and transfer over to the hood. So, we're gonna take our whole pieces and drop that into 70% isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for two minutes. And what I like to do to make sure that the, the vessel is clean too, is kind of just give it a little bit of a shake. So I have a shaker, but I'm just demonstrating the alcohol step. You can do all of this by hand and you don't need a shaker, but it helps to kind of wash off all of that debris. 
So we're gonna go ahead and give this that two minute cleaning. So you can see it's in there. Not too much damage is happening at all. So I'm just gonna keep this going for another minute. So you don't wanna to swirl too hard that you bruise it or damage it too much. That's just a little bit too much stress. Um, you just want nice swirling to just go ahead and rinse it. You want as much surface contact pretty much, especially the tufts. Because they're so tiny and, and have those little hairs, they actually trap a lot of mold spores inside there. So the largest contamination that you're gonna see is from mold. All right. I personally like to use a strainer. It makes rinsing the material a lot easier. We're gonna go ahead and stop that and give this a rinse. This is autoclaved sterile water. You pretty much just wanna make sure that all the alcohol is off so that it can go into the bleach because isopropyl alcohol and bleach do not form well. They'll actually kill the plant material rather than sterilize it. So now we're gonna go into the bleach and we're gonna be in there for about uh, 25 minutes. So I'm gonna stop this so you don't have to watch it once we get to that step. Like I said, you don't need a shaker for this next part, but it definitely helps. So this is a 20% bleach solution with a little bit of detergent or soap inside of it um, to help break up any of that material. So I like to set it um, and then kind of keep an eye on it just to make sure that the bleaching process um, doesn't happen a little too aggressively. Um, you will see that the base is going to bleach out and turn white eventually, but the green part should stay green for the most part the entire time. If you see it bleaching out, you should pull it and then move on to the next step at that point. So you can see, if you have a shaker, I want it to shake pretty aggressively where all of the material is moving around. And that way it's getting washed. So like I said, we're gonna do that for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna check it after the 15 minute mark just to see how it's doing. And then we'll go ahead and rinse off all of the bleach and go ahead into the induction of the tissue into media.